Your gold bracelet glows. A strange voice sounds inside your head. Do not be alarmed. You are just hearing my thoughts as recorded by the bracelet. Since you are now wearing my bracelet, I must be dead. I therefore charge you to continue my mission, to neutralize the evil scroll of spells before it destroys everything. You see, the leather scroll you now carry is the immensely evil wizard's compendium. Since it cannot be destroyed outright, you must learn how to render its magic harmless. Beware! There are those who would think nothing of killing you in order to possess the magic compendium. There is little more to tell. By now, you must be inside the Galactic Museum, your entrance gained by the bracelet and my obsidian code disk. This museum was built by a race of ancient beings who constructed many such museums on many different planets. These ancients designed each museum for their own amusement. If you're clever, you'll find many answers here. Yet, since you're not one of the ancients, you'll have to scrounge around the countryside for coins to view exhibits. Remember your quest. Good luck. Another exhibit. Thornberry. A typical town of Tarmalon. Oh wow, look how good they did in the graphics here. Got the road going by there, the towns. Towns. Houses there. I'm not going to use my major coin here yet, but we will be using one of my two coins here. There's another exhibit I want to see first. If I remember how to get to it. I think it's this way. Let's peek down this way first. Nah, nothing. Actually, we should get, have a good tour of this place. Ah, this is what I wanted. A fountain. You checked in Flower Fountain. You haven't used your exhibit. Insert your jade coin? Yes, we will. Here we go. Here you see a replica of the famous enchanted flower fountain. Legend says that its waters once flowed in splendor. One day, a tulip was taken from the fountain gardens, and the fountain waters stopped. The stories say that only when the flower is returned will the fountain flow again. The fountain. Myth or fact? Judge for yourself. In either case, the museum has agreed to help search for the tulip. Do you want to help search? Of course we do. Bring the tulip back here for a nice reward. Meanwhile, here's some native gold to aid you in your search. One hundred bucks. Not bad. Right, so that leads back to Thornberry. There's a dead end. Um, let's go this way. Another exhibit. Ah, purple. This requires an amethyst gem. A tapestry. Oh, we can't look at it again. That's right, again. We can't look at it, period. Hmm. Which way should we go? Let's try this way. We're in the ancient museum. The light is very dim. It's kind of creepy. We won't go this way yet. Once I have some weapons and gear, we'll explore the dark passages of this place. There's a door that will lead us out. Herb of Life. We need a Topaz coin to view that exhibit. So we're going to pass by it at the moment. I love the torch crackling sound. I think this way is the way to get to the caretaker. Let's see if I remember. Yep. This one should be a door on my right. And it is. And here is the caretaker. Information. Welcome to our museum. I am the museum caretaker. Although my influence outside this museum is limited, I'll provide you with help and information whenever I can. 
Right now, you should explore the world around you. Feel free to use the museum exhibits or, if you'd rather, use the doors to go directly outside. Exhibit. Nothing that way. It's a dead end. Is this stones of wisdom? Stones of wisdom. What a fantastic little mini game this is. Yeah, this game was one of the first games to introduce uh, mini games to itself. Like um, most games, just had the game itself you played. This game had lots of little mini games you d you could do to gain experience, money, or items. Like get different gambling games. An exhibit, an ancient artifact exhibit closed. Hmm. All right, folks, let's go look at Lord Barry. Sure, we'll use my jade coin. This exhibit shows a typical Tarmalon town called Thornberry. The town was established over 100 lifespans ago by a group of wealthy merchants. Thornberry has changed little since its founding. The rich and the poor still live on opposite sides of town, separated by a massive stone wall. Despite its inequity, Thornberry is a bustling community, containing shops, craftsmen, banks, and places of amusement. Would you like to go to Thornberry? I sure would. Here's some gold to spend on your trip. And here we are, folks, in town! Um, let's examine really quick. We're in Thornberry. Look about to see more. So, these yellow people you see here, um, they are guards. Um, if I try to steal something, I will have a few turns before I'm discovered, generally. And then the guards will come after me. Um, they're here to make sure that no one steals stuff in town. Can I examine the guard? Can we talk to him? Hello there. The guard salutes. Nice to see you, sir. What do we have in this place? Some guy. So this is a merchant, and this um, weird beige, brown, orange thing you see here is his counter. And so you can be anywhere near his counter and you can be able to speak to him. If I speak to him back this far, I get no response. But if I speak to him up here, he'll talk to me. Do I want to buy a raft for 262 gold? No, thank you. How about some climbing gear for 33? Sure. Climbing gear is always a good purchase. Now we'll hold on to my climbing gear, too. There we go. And what do we got in this place? Okay, this person on the right here is a fortune teller. Let's talk to her. Hello, miss. Read your fortune for seven gold? Sure. Buyback shops pay nicely once you learn to negotiate. Hello, sir. What's this? Flip-flop! Oh, okay, this is a gambler guy. And this must be Blackjack? Blackjack. Alright, we'll play some quick a uh, quick game. So let's play some Blackjack first. Um, I don't think I need to explain Blackjack to everybody, but we'll go ahead and explain and read the directions. You play the dealer. Each of you is dealt two cards. Choose hit if you want another. Stay if you don't. To win, be closest to 21 without going over. Dealer draws after you stay. House rules. Aces count as 11 or 1. You win with 5 cards under 21. Dealer stops with 17 or more. Natural blackjack pays double. 